don't cut corners as these teams get set and square off here at center ice here from Harbor Center. Meyer in right off the opening draw. Has it as a Canisius player lost a stick. Opposite lost a stick trying to defend him. Shot comes out on the far side. Free traffic rebound, chance in front, they score. And you could hear it ring off the right pad of Ladd and right back into the slot where Ryan Cox was waiting for it. And Niagara's pressure finally paying off as the Purple Eagles strike first. It's one to nothing. Yeah, Ryan Cox, the player to watch for coming into tonight's game. And that's kind of an unusual rebound for Ladd to leave. And the second time that he's done it tonight, kicked it right out to the slot. Cox was there all alone. Kanisha has to be more aware in their zone. And, and will be knocked down, held in. Harper, Meyer standing. Six seconds left in his penalty. Harper. Gorsak, Harper looking across, has a teammate in front, they score. And it's Pinio who was there to tap it home just as Meyer was coming back on the ice, but not quite able to get back into the play. Niagara taps it home on the power play, and it is two to nothing, Purple Eagles. Yeah, so we're gonna be, we're gonna be back to even strength here. Uh, Meyer had rejoined the play, or the ice at least, and, and Decker still, was still in the box. Evingson. Walks the blue line, fires a shot through traffic, catches glass behind the goal, comes back over the goal, and tapped home, they score. It's a one in a million shot there, and, and you described it perfectly. Off the glass, straight up in the air, but over the goal, and uh, Barczewski searching everywhere for it, unable to find it. Niagara on the back door, tapping it home for the 3-0 lead. Just a... Maybe representative of what Canisius has had to deal with in terms of bad bounces and just the luck here tonight. And it's Brandon Stanley, who has played an excellent game and started that rush by himself. We're ahead, has a teammate all alone back behind. It's Pinio in behind everyone, fires and scores. And I don't know if Jason Pinio quite realized how much time and space he had as it hit him in the skate and walks in all alone, basically from center ice in. And maybe the dagger for the Purple Eagles. It's now four. Nothing. Yeah, just a, a tough play for uh, Pinio to get behind Canisius there is almost mind-blowing. And Alger, turnaround chance, hits off the side of the cage. And that will do it here tonight. And the shutout official here for Veltri as Niagara wins 4 to nothing. And some sweet revenge for the visitors here in the Battle of the Bridge after a tough home loss yesterday.